The purpose of this section is to familiarize you with gears and belt drive pulleys. First, let's talk about gears. Discs and gears are used to transfer rotational motion from one shaft to another. The disc that causes the motion is the driver, and the disc to which the motion is being transferred is called the driven. Driver and driven are both terms we will be using frequently throughout this section. On a gear, the force at the point of contact is equal and opposite on each disc. As we see with these arrows, the force on one disc is equal and opposite the force on the other disc at the point where the teeth mesh. Most gears have teeth. These teeth help eliminate slippage between the gears. Without teeth on gears, there would be a lot of slippage. Imagine how much slippage there would be in a transmission if the gears didn't have teeth. Belts are used to allow for distance between two shafts, and they also help change the direction of rotation of the shafts. In the last section, we discuss torque. Now we are going to look at how torque is transferred between gears. On each shaft connected to a gear, the torque is equal to the force multiplied by the radius, which is a formula we have already seen. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of torque calculations with gears. We want to calculate the torque on gear A and gear B. We see that 10 pounds of force is applied by a shaft on gear A. The radius of gear A is 6 inches, while the radius of gear B is 3 inches. We know that torque is equal to the force applied multiplied by the radius in feet. Our force applied to both gears will be 10 pounds, since we are assuming no loss of friction between gears. In reality, the force on gear B will be slightly less due to friction, among other things. The torque on gear A is equal to the 10 pounds of force multiplied by 0.5 feet, which is 6 inches converted into feet. This means the torque on gear A is 5 foot-pounds. On gear B, the force we are assuming is 10 pounds, and the radius is 0.25 feet, which is 3 inches converted into feet. Multiplying, we see that the torque on gear B is 2.5 foot-pounds. The radius of gear A is twice as large as gear B, so we would expect the torque to be twice as large. In this example, gear A has a smaller radius than gear B. We want to calculate the torque on gear A and gear B, just like in the last example. The force being applied to gear A is 8 pounds. We will assume this is also the same force applied to gear B. The torque on gear A is equal to the force applied multiplied by the radius. The force applied is 8 pounds, and this time the radius is 0.25 feet. Don't forget to convert your inches into feet. Therefore, the torque on gear A is 2 foot-pounds. On gear B, the force is again 8 pounds, and the radius is 0.5 feet. Therefore, the torque on gear B is 4 foot-pounds. These two examples prove that the larger the radius, the more torque you will have. In other words, the larger gear creates more torque, and it is proportional to the radius of the gear. In the next video, we will look at how speed is transferred between gears.